Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. With Valentine's Day around the corner, single guys like me are shunned upon for not being in a relationship. So with that in mind, I'm going to celebrate by talking about an episode about whatever's written on this piece of paper. Oh, that's what it means. I always thought dating meant adding a new date to the calendar. No wonder people thought I was deranged when I told them that a date called February 33rd exists. Crusty Love is the episode where Mr. Krabs falls in love with Mrs. Puff and goes on a date with her, but he ends up spending almost all of his money on her. Like Graveyard Shift, this episode aired on September 6, 2002, and is also known as the episode where Mr. Krabs has a way with words. This episode is also the first appearance of the fancy restaurant blatantly called Fancy. This restaurant has made a few more appearances throughout the series, and is definitely remembered by Spongebob fans. It isn't super well known, but there is always some fan out there that does mention it every now and then, even if it was only because it first appeared in this episode. This episode also reveals more about Mrs. Puff, like that she's actually single and that her husband died and turned into a lamp. With the dating theme of this episode, this and a few other episodes with love related themes are grouped together by Nickelodeon at times and air as a bit of a TV marathon whenever it's the week leading up to Valentine's Day. For that, it could be considered a Valentine's Day episode, but we all know that I don't consider it an official Valentine's Day episode, especially because it's aired occasionally throughout various times of the year. As of February 2023, the only actual Valentine's Day episode of the show that's aired is episode 32, Valentine's Day from season 1. In addition, this episode also introduces Mr. Krabs and Mrs. Puff dating, which becomes a continuity error throughout the series. After this episode, they don't directly interact again until season 7, where it's implied they weren't together anymore. It's not brought to light again until season 10 where they were dating again, but it also seems to go back and forth from time to time if they were a couple or not, especially during that era of the show. But this isn't the time to talk about continuity errors, we're here to talk about this. So let's watch this episode and witness Mr. Krabs and Mrs. Puff dating for the first time. So the episode starts up and Mr. Krabs is doing a cross stitch when he realizes that the register was only one penny short and starts to become upset. Spongebob tries to say that it doesn't matter, but Mr. Krabs says money makes the world go round. I didn't know money was inertia. Mr. Krabs says nothing matters more, but then he notices somebody he thought he was cute. Spongebob sees that it was Mrs. Puff, and Mr. Krabs wanted to talk to her. Spongebob offers to introduce him, but Mr. Krabs was too nervous. Despite looking like that, Spongebob runs over to talk to Mrs. Puff. When he walks up to Mrs. Puff, she gets startled and yells, Watch the tree! All right, I'm watching the tree. It's not very exciting. SpongeBob brings Mr. Krabs over to Mrs. Puff's table, but Mr. Krabs was too nervous to talk properly and starts acting in a way that would make anybody lose their reputation. SpongeBob speaks for Mr. Krabs and was able to tell that Mr. Krabs was trying to ask Mrs. Puff on a date. Mrs. Puff agrees to go out with him and says that he has a way with words, making Mr. Krabs happy. Ah, so having a way with words means babbling like an idiot and moving your arms around in strange ways. Later on, Spongebob helps Mr. Krabs get ready for his date and sends him off, mentioning a circle is Mrs. Puff. Mr. Krabs and Mrs. Puff went out to fancy, and Mr. Krabs was spoiling Mrs. Puff in any way imaginable. Mrs. Puff was touched, but Mr. Krabs seems to take things too far, even going as far as to rent a limo for her and have people carry her to that f***ing limo. The waiter brought over a bill for $100, and Mr. Krabs thought that that wasn't correct. The waiter realized that that was true, and Mr. Krabs was so shocked that the real bill was $100,000, he screamed so loudly the glass bottle outside the restaurant exploded. Oh my god, Mr. Krabs must be a great singer. Later that night, Mr. Krabs was back home talking to Spongebob saying that he couldn't control himself spending all of his money on Mrs. Puff. Spongebob wanted to help, and Mr. Krabs decided to have Spongebob join them on the date the next day to the park and prevent him from spending more money. The next day, Spongebob and Mr. Krabs went outside Mrs. Puff's house, and as soon as Mr. Krabs heard her voice, he told Spongebob to go buy flowers, referring to Spongebob as a square and himself as a triangle. Spongebob ran away right as Mrs. Puff arrived. Right after she went back inside, he came back with the flowers, but Mr. Krabs was pissed that Spongebob spent some of his money on the flowers despite their agreement. So Spongebob didn't buy that with his own money? 
Mr. Krabs gave her the flowers and soon demanded Spongebob to buy chocolates, which he did and spent more of Mr. Krabs' money. Mrs. Puff was happy to just go to the park and mention needing a sun hat, which made Mr. Krabs think that Mrs. Puff actually needed a sun hat. Spongebob ran down and bought a hat, but then she said she already had one. Mr. Krabs realized how he was making Spongebob buy all that shit and promised that he wouldn't make Spongebob buy anything else for Mrs. Puff. A few moments later, Mr. Krabs soon started telling Spongebob to buy multiple more things, and every time he did, Mr. Krabs was mad at Spongebob for spending more and more of his own money on every single thing. So all of that was still in Mr. Krabs' money? None of that was bought with Spongebob's? Spongebob was exhausted, but before Mr. Krabs tried to ask him the same thing again, Spongebob interrupted and started reenacting everything Mr. Krabs did. Mr. Krabs said that Mrs. Puff actually needed it this time and started crying because he loved Mrs. Puff and didn't want to lose her. So Spongebob decided to go to the store and bought a washing machine. So how did Mrs. Puff do her laundry before that? Mr. Krabs admit that he can't help if he was loose with somebody else's money, and Spongebob snapped at Mr. Krabs for all he did, slipping in profanity as well. Ah, so profanity is incoherent gibberish as well. Mrs. Puff tells Mr. Krabs that she didn't want to accept all the gifts and just wanted to go Dutch instead. She handed him some money and then kissed him, and the episode ends. So that was Krusty Love, and that is a really good episode. There's a lot to like about this episode. As usual, there are a lot of hilarious scenes. I like when Mr. Krabs is trying to ask Mrs. Puff out and Spongebob thinks he's trying to say things like, Hit you with a rake! Or, Try to guess your weight! I also love the fire background when Mr. Krabs was pissed at Spongebob spending all his money near the end. And of course, Spongebob and Mr. Krabs referring to Mrs. Puff as a circle, Mr. Krabs as a triangle, and Spongebob as a square. The gag with the scuba diver playing music is great, and so is the sight of the band-aids in the Krusty Krab. Some of my favorite scenes were Spongebob running back and forth over and over again, and when Spongebob mentions a giant rusty anchor and Mr. Krabs stresses out. I especially love that joke when you realize Spongebob only said that because the giant rusty anchor is Mr. Krabs' house. I also like how we learned that Mrs. Puff's last husband died and turned into a lamp. I don't blame Mrs. Puff for not wanting to talk about it. It may be a dark scene, but I do like a little bit of dark humor from time to time, depending on how that dark humor is executed. There's also a lot of great character moments in this episode. Of course, the interactions between Mr. Krabs and Mrs. Puff throughout the episode are sweet, as they should be since that's the focus. I like how Squidward doesn't give a shit when the register is a penny short, as well as when Mr. Krabs is nervous about meeting Mrs. Puff for the first time. I like when Mrs. Puff tries to pretend that she was in a boat about to crash when she sees Spongebob, and I love when Spongebob stands up to Mr. Krabs at the end and calls him out on spending all the money and when he used profanity towards Mr. Krabs. I also like that this episode focuses on love. I may be single myself, but it's nice seeing love-themed episodes in a show that doesn't normally focus on romantic moments. The romantic scenes between Mr. Krabs and Mrs. Puff are done pretty well in my opinion. It's also refreshing to see Mr. Krabs show genuinely love towards something that isn't money for once. You also feel sympathetic for Mr. Krabs here too. He's so in love with Mrs. Puff and wants to please her and he'll do anything for her and thinks about her so much he completely doesn't realize how much money he's spending on her. I'd probably do the same thing for a lady, but it is important to think clearly on what you're doing, no matter what kind of situation you're in. Love is a fucked up thing and makes any human being go batty and not think about anything else. But Mr. Krabs finding love and not wanting to lose it is a very relatable feeling. I should know. And Spongebob finally snaps some sense into Mr. Krabs, which makes him realize how much he fucked up. And luckily, everything works out for him. Mrs. Puff still thought Mr. Krabs was sweet and gave him some money because she wanted to go Dutch instead, which means a person only pays for their own expenses. He got some of his money back and they were still together at the end of the episode. It's a very heartwarming moment. Now for a fun fact. My mom has done several cross-stitch projects in her life, so seeing Mr. Krabs do a cross-stitch at the beginning kind of stuck with me in a bit more personal way for that reason alone. And of course, it's time for me to nitpick. Something that came to me on this latest rewatch is that I thought it was slightly odd that Spongebob only used Mr. Krabs' money to pay for everything and not any of his own. Obviously, I know that Mr. Krabs was confusing Spongebob, but Spongebob knew that Mr. Krabs didn't want Spongebob to spend any of his money, and Spongebob was really trying to help Mr. Krabs out with the money problem. Now give me a dollar. Nope. So Spongebob could have used some of his own money, even if for just one item. 
To be fair, he may not have a ton of money anyway, since he doesn't get paid a ton in the first place, and I wouldn't expect him to spend all his money on the various objects, but maybe he could have afforded to spend at least a bit of his own money on the sun hat. It even still has the price tag on it, which means it could still be returned. But like I said, that's just a nitpick, so it doesn't matter in the big picture. And besides, if you think about it, Mr. Krabs didn't spend any of his own money, Spongebob did. So Spongebob technically did follow the orders and also kind of disobeyed them at the same time, so you can brush off that nitpick that I just did. This episode is very sweet and still has a lot of great things to love about it. The fact that this episode is themed about romance gives it some more points since there aren't that many love themed episodes in the series. That's another factor that makes this episode stand out even more. All of that, plus the morals of the love life represented in this episode, just makes this that much more of a satisfying watch. Not that fine! Krusty Love is a great episode. There are a ton of great character moments and hilarious jokes throughout, and the love theme makes it stand out even more since it's not too common to see love themed episodes in Spongebob. So that makes the episode sweet as well, which means that it's good for even more reasons than some others. However, watching an episode like that around Valentine's Day can feel miserable if you're not dating anyone yourself. Damn, it's days like this that make me realize how much nothing I'm really doing. Well, before I can find something better to do, I need to find a better coping strategy first. <laughs>